Welcome back to the channel once again everybody and thanks for tuning in, logging on, checking this out. This is my little corner of the internet here. This is Spaz Nation. Welcome all Spazites. This is Gizmo Spaz and today we are continuing our uh, little uh, let's build is what I'm calling it. We're uh, building our little sets and I'm chit-chatting while I'm doing it. And uh, now we're doing a quick little review of each figure. Uh, these are the Mega Constructs Pokemon line. This is Series 1 of the Mega Constructs Pokemon line. Today we're going to be doing Pikachu. As you can see, Pikachu is a 21 pieces, so he should be a little faster build than the, uh, the Abra from a last episode. Uh, I really enjoy these. Uh, so far, so good. I've done 3 out of 6. This will be my fourth one. I'm very excited. Uh, these guys are just so awesome. I can't wait to uh, catch them all. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. You know how the, the song goes, the saying, the whatnot, and everything. So let's open this guy up here. Let's, do we have to push a button? Uh, oh wait, I forgot this. They have the little plastic on around. Jeez. It's like I haven't done three of these already. Okay, now, yep, they just pop open. There's uh, two bags as usual. And then the instructions, we'll just put the ball to the side here for now. Let's, uh, let's spread all this up. Let's open this up. Let's open her up. Come on. Okay, Pikachu. Pikachu. I cannot do that very well. I apologize for the attempt. Urgh. Okay, that's not very many pieces. I think that's the, uh, the bag for the larger parts. Which means this is the bag for the smaller parts. And, wow, that one's like vacuum sealed or something. Wow. That is some really thick polypropylene or whatever the heck this is made of. It's, uh, hello, what's going on? I hear, why are you scratching around on the floor, bud? I have the kitties in here with me right now recording. I've got the door closed because Randy is asleep in the other room. And uh, let's let's get into building Pikachu. I have to find his face. His fa Here's his face. Okay, his face goes on there. Uh, and then I need one of these. Yeah, one of those. And then another circular one like the Abra. So they have a similar face build. Very similar, actually. Uh, a lot of these pieces are interchangeable. I'd, uh, actually, I would think that it would be interesting to see what uh, people can do with these different sets as far as combining them, making some really interesting uh, amalgamations. Let's see, I think those ears go the other way. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, they go the other way. According to the picture, it's a little harder to tell on the instructions. Um... And now, I have built the Pikachu head. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? Oh, I think it's adorable. There's the Pikachu head. Okay. And I have a feeling this is going to be very similar to the Abra build. We're going to build it in sections and then put them all together at the end. Next is what's probably the body. Um, I think, yeah, I need this part. Uh, the stripes appear to go on the top portion of this. So, boom. Okay, and then that's it for that step. And the next step is um, another one of these half circle things with two of these. And that is, um, goes like this. Yes, okay. This is, this is actually quite different from the Abra build. Abra and Pikachu obviously have very different body styles. Uh, I think that's together good. Okay, next step, step four, I believe I'm on. Uh, we are connecting this part uh, to, to this part, I guess. Yes, this goes here, and then this goes there, and then we put this on top like that. Uh, let's line that up correctly. Get on there. There we go. And then uh, you can see Pikachu's body starting to come together there. Okay, next is... Um, oh, that's actually the back. Okay. Next is P 
Pikachu's stubby little arms go like so. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Okay, and then the head goes like so. Boom. Make sure you squeeze that together. Uh, Abra's head popped off kind of easily. His face popped off of his body and his ear popped off. That was a little disappointing. Okay, next I'm building the tail. The tail looks to be like a rather large build. Pikachu is a lot stumpier than I thought. Okay, and then this goes like that. And then tail goes like that. And then it just clips on to the back side here, like so, and then flips up. And there's our little tiny Pikachu with tiny little stubby legs. Look at this. Look at this little Pikachu. He's got tiny little stubby legs. Now they do have a little bit of posability. You can put them out like that. And his arms have their own little ball joints. And then, like I showed you before, his ears could go down, so he could be sad at chew, or he could be excited chew, or he could be quizzical chew. And then his head is on a little, um, a little ball joint as well. His tail's ball jointed, so he can uh, flip it down, put it up in the air, off to the side. And this is a pretty cute figure. And then, as well, because they're all on the Pokeballs. You can, uh, he comes with actual, like, feet, so you can just stick him right on the Pokeball and give him any, any pose you want. That looks weird. Let's stick him the other way. That looks weird as all. I'm going to have to adjust that until I get, uh, get, a, get the right kind of pose for it. But, uh, once again, these are uh, really adorable little sets. Uh, I'm really liking these. I've got two more to build from Wave 1 of the small sets. So, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what you think about these, if you plan on going to buy them, I'm buying mine at GameStop, but I believe they're also available at Toys R Us, they're supposed to be available at uh, Target and Walmart, I believe, although I have not seen them at Walmart yet. Uh, anyway, until next time, happy hunting, be kind, and uh, I usually say something else. Goodbye, I guess that's it for now. Till next time, see you later.